So, have you ever wanted to download a Java program? And then open the archive. It's right here. And try to open the jar file. And it displays an error saying the Java jar file could not be launched. Check the console. Well, today I'm going to show you how to diagnose and fix Java jar file problems. First, you are going to open the applications folder in your Mac's hard drive. Then you're going to scroll down to utilities and then open terminal. And now I'm going to open a new window. And now type in Java dash version. And this will show you your Java version and all that stuff. And now you're going to go into the Java dash jar. And then just go ahead and drag the problematic jar file into there. It should automatically enter in the path then click enter and whatever error messages you get go ahead copy that and then go ahead and paste it in to the forums in our case we have an error that says failed to load main class manifest attribute attribute from the jar file so this means that the jar file was not properly packed or may have been corrupted. So just look inside the jar file. Now you can't very easily get inside a jar file, but I have a archive utility here. I'm going to open that the archive utility. And this will open a, G, a CPGZ file. And if we open that, it will open a second jar file. And if we attempt to unarchive, it will open a CPGZ. And the cycle will repeat in an endless loop. So we need a program called the unarchiver to do it. So let me open the unarchiver and now this window appears you can download the unarchiver in the video description so yeah and now I am going to go ahead and save it um, into a new folder that says jar contents right there click create and extract. And now I'm going to go ahead and open that folder there. Now there's this folder 8.3. And now here you have the enters of the, the file, the jar file. Now we are going to open this folder. It says meta dash inf in capitals click on it now you may have tons of dot class files depending on which jar you're opening like minecraft for example and now we're going to open the meta inf and now we have this manifest.mf file now we're going to choose a program to open this manifest with and now we're going to click on other and now we are going to scroll all the way down until we find text edit. This application can open. Now we're going to click open. And yeah, there should be a line in it that says main class equals something. If that is missing, as in this case, the program 
won't run. Now we are going to bound this jar file into a program. Now you can't very easily do this. But to do this, you will have to search for all of the applications in the computer. Now to do that, you go and head and press command F. And now go ahead and kind is application. It will instantly be searching for all of the apps that are now on the computer. I'm going to arrange by the name. And now it will show all of the applications in the computer. We even have some old Mac OS 9 applications that have pixels and are incompatible because they have a slash thing through it. And you can't not fix this because the classic is no longer support. And to actually do that, to open these applications, you have to actually have an older version. So find applications, any application that starts with the letter J. And here they are. And somewhere in this list, you will find here, Jar Bundler. Open the Jar Bundler that is in USR Share Java Tools. And there you have Jar Bundler. So now I'm going to open the jar blunder. And it's here we have this window. And now I'm going to go ahead and open the desktop. And now I'm going to resize this. And now we're going to drag that there. So now I'm going to show you how to create a Java application using the jar file. So you can choose a main class, but that you can't drag that. And if you attempt to choose that, it will go ahead and desktop there, choose main class arguments. And now we're going to go ahead and create the app. Choose the folder in which to create your application. So go ahead and open desktop and then enter the name of your jar file. In this case, a cube. And now we're going to click create. And now we have a cube dot app there. So now I'm going to open it. Now it opens but instantly quits. As you can see, because the manifest is missing. Here we have another problematic jar file, and if we attempt to open it, it will instantly, instantly display an error saying the Java could not be launched and we must check the console. Now, once again, we are going to Java jar and then drag our anim cube jar there. And again, we have got the manifest error. As you can see, there is only one class file, and that is animcube. There's also meta inf right here. And now if we open the subfolder, again, there's a manifest file. Now, Again, it d does not have the main class thing, so that means the jar is unopenable. So now, once again, I am going to bound this into a program. Open Jar Blundler, choose, choose the problematic jar right there. And as you can see, it will do not allow me to create the jar the jar program because it displays this error saying the file that you chose does not contain a main class. Please choose a new file. I'll click OK. So I may type in an and cube. There we go. So I cheated that. And if we create an application file a cube. And then cube. Now that won't work. And let me show you why. They click create 
it will create animcube.app. And instead of having an icon like this with that, that nice little cup icon, coffee cup icon on a plate with a pencil or pen, actually not pencil, pen right there, it will display two sheets of paper, a pencil, a paintbrush, and a ruler with a no white no sign through it. And behind that sign is a gray semi-transparent circle. So yeah, and if we attempt to open this, it will instantly quit. So that means these two jars are damaged because the manifest does not contain the necessary line that allows the program to run. And now the icon of Anim Cube has turned into two sheets of paper, a plate with a coffee cup, and a pen. Again, so these are exactly the same.